Elite Tools of the Trade St. John's River Edition. Here we are. We got all the tools that I used to finish second. Second place at the St. John's River. The tournament worked out amazing. We had all the practice footage right there. And then we put it together and got all the action footage from the actual tournament. Put that vlog right there. So now you get to see all the breakdown. These are the three, the three rods and reel combos, line and everything. I'm going to go through each one, tell you kind of why my system is the way it is and why these tools of the trade worked out for me to end up in second place. All right, now the first one, uh, I probably caught most of my fish the first day, caught a couple fish on it the second day. I didn't catch anything on it the third day, but it was a drop shot. Uh, and this is a, it's, it's more of a Bubba style drop, style, drop shot. I've got 12 pound uh, Sunline uh, X Plasma line. That's what's on the bottom there. That's my base, it's 12 pound. This is 50, I don't have any 12 pound handy. And then I had a 10 pound FC Sniper leader. That's what I had on here. It's about a 20 foot leader on there. And then I've got a Gamakatsu EWG style hook. And then I've got a little short leader on there with an eighth ounce sinker. That was the that was the setup there. And on the on the business end, I had a Missile Baits Quiver 6.5. Yeah, that's a brand new bait. Bassmaster Classic 2020 release. Yep, right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it's not, I'm gonna show it to you. Boom. Right there, right there, there it was. Uh, give you an up close, up close shot of it. That's what it looks like. So that was my rig. The, the drop shot rod's a Cashin, seven foot, four inch rod. Uh, it's what I use no matter if I've got six pound, eight pound, 10 pound liter, 12 pound liter, no matter what. I also like it for the Neko rig. But it's a it's a counterbalanced rod uh, with a real soft tip. You can make real accurate casts, and then you can you can put some real good wood to them. I caught a 510 the first day around some lily pads with that rod and 10 pound test. So that that rod can can definitely do the do the deal. And then I had a Tokyo rig, which you'll see right here. The Tokyo rig is uh, has the has the quiver on it as well. Did a lot of the heavy lifting the first and the second days. Uh, I caught a five pounder on it the first day, and I caught uh, most of my fish on it the second day. That that Tokyo rig, I had two one eighth ounce sinkers back to back, as you can see again right here. Had those two sinkers back to back, had it up to the number uh, three aught hook and then I had that quiver on there. Uh, June bug color was what I was using on the drop shot as you, you can see and on the uh, on the Tokyo rig. But I had that on the worm and rod from Cashin, seven foot two inch, medium heavy action. A lot of power in this rod. Had 18 pound Sunline shooter. That's the line right here. That's 18 pound Sunline shooter on there and had a high speed Daiwa Titula 100, uh, seven one reel right there. That's what uh, what that combo was. That's what that looked like. And then on towards the end of the second day, I caught a couple decent fish right at the end of the day on a chatterbait. And then the the last day, the chatterbait was the only thing I could even get bit on. I caught all six of my keepers the last day on a chatterbait. I was using two different ones. Uh, I had the, the half ounce bluegill colored uh, chatterbait, caught all, all the ones I, on the second day. And then uh, I think about half of them the first day on this one right here, I had a Missile Baits Shockwave 3.5 shrapnel color on the back. And then uh, and then I switched over. Once the sun got up, it was kind of cloudy in the morning. Once the sun got up, I wanted something a little a little more subdued. So I went with the black and blue. And then I had, uh, it was a green, a green pumpkin and watermelon trailer. Uh, just a little darker, just straight darker. That's what I caught the five pounder on the last day. I had that on 20 pound Sunline Sniper, which is this line right here. That 20 pound Sunline Sniper, it's 20 pound test. So, we, I mean, it'll hold up to, to a lot, 
but yet it's very supple and you can make real real accurate cast that's that's a big key and i had that on a cashin seven foot one inch and this is their what they call their chatterbait rod i mean it, it has the chatterbait label right on it and it, it just not to be confused this is the jackhammer chatterbait this is not any of their other editions it's the the expensive uh, jackhammer it's got a gamakatsu hook on it it is it is premium it is the deal it is the teats as they say and uh, it's that seven foot one inch uh cashin rod that that is the deal 20 pound Salon Sniper, and then I had the Daiwa Tatula 100. Uh, had the 6, 3 to 1 gear ratio reel. I really like that for uh, for throwing the chatterbait. I just think that's a good that's a good speed setup. It's not too fast, uh, but it's plenty fast enough that when you get, get those bites, that uh, you can reel up enough slack to, to get the wood to them. So those were all the tools of the trade that I used for my second place finish down at the St. John's River. Last year, I finished fifth, um, and pretty much all all my baits were different and the areas were different uh, i think i caught out of one stretch i caught a couple fish in both tournaments other than that it was all different uh just really really worked out two years in a row down at the st john's river and so now we're going to go to the bassmaster classic and the rest of the elite season i'm looking forward to all of that and so you got to stay tuned with me and check out all of those videos and keep up with me on all the other social media channels and right here bringing you videos twice a week on YouTube.